Hey guys, Sponge Murphy here, and how are you all getting on? So, welcome to another Let's Paint video. Uh, this video, I'm going to be concentrating on doing the base for the Blood Reavers. Um, you know, the last video, I did a painting video on it, how I paint them and everything. So, it's come to the time where I have to do the base. So, this is the first one I did, the first one I've done. Um, you know, for the first time doing it, it was fine. It came out kind of, you know, decent enough. I was happy with it. But um, I wanted to add just a little bit more detail into it. So this one, this one is still a current work in progress because simply because the Nurgle rot stuff on the base really does take a, a long time to dry. So um, so basically, I wanted to have it themed like a, like a like a swamp, like a poison swamp base and everything. And where the Blood Reaver guys are going, you know, this guy's going to be stuck probably here. They're going to have to go across the rocks to go across it and everything. Um, but I wanted to add a little bit of extra detail. I wanted, like, things sticking out of it, out of the swamp base. Like, you know, there's bits of metal coming out of this one. There's a, a dwarf helmet sinking in and everything. So, um, the plan was to do, I think I have a good bit of dwarf bits left over. But a lot of them are, you know, very, very similar. So I wanted to do, you know, just a little bit different. So the plan was to do the base and have all like skeleton arms coming up and I have a few skeleton arms left over. But when I did look through them, the problem was they were all the right arm. Um, you know, they all had like a weapon in it. So every base would have near enough been the same. You know, it would have been a, it would have been a little bit, sorry, it would have been a little bit too static. <coughs> so what I came across was when I was looking through my bits, so I moved these out of the way. And I completely forgot I had this. Uh, some bits left over from my Crypt Ghouls. Um, and as you can see in this, you know, there's plenty of arms. You know, there's arms for like reaching out and grabbing. There's heads and everything. So it's, the only thing in there is the heads and the arms. I don't have the bodies, but I'm sure I can work around it. Um, to make the bases look that much nicer. So, uh, and so this is the one I'm going to be working on. Is this one. This one is pretty much finished. Just a little bit of a color detail on the metal parts when it's finished or when the when the Nurgle rot is finished because I have to do a couple more layers of that and um, this it's a fairly quick base to do it's just the Nurgle's rot takes a long time to dry you have to like layer it up and layer it up to get it to look a little bit thick uh, instead of just like a shiny green paint on top of it so stay tuned and um, make sure to hit the like button for this video if you like how I'm going to be doing it and uh, it helps a lot so stay tuned and I get started okay so the first base that's nearly finished, I just put a second layer of the Nurgle's rot on it and it's really starting to puddle up a bit. You know, once it dries it settles it down a little bit so that's why I have to keep layering it. But um, it's really starting to look nice and thick and gooey and proper and everything. So that's coming along nicely. Uh, now the one I'm working on for now, as you can see I've cut out the cork bit. Um, that's what I'm using for the rocks by the way, it's cork. Um, and then I cut off a bit of a shield uh, and you know it's an old skeleton sh shield so it's gonna look like it's sinking in it's kind of half a sticking out and then on the other side I have a bit of the crypt ghoul just the head and the arm reaching out as if you're trying to pull the blood reaver down into the pool with him or into the the uh, rotten gooey water <laughs> So yeah, it's just just kind of each model just do the the oh I can't even remember the words. Cork, that's it. Uh, just make sure you do the cork different shapes. Like this one I have two of them there. You know, but as long as they can stand on it. Um where's this guy? You know, he stands on it pretty decent. And uh, he should either if he if he doesn't glue in properly for you, you know, he looks alright there. Um, you can pin it to the bottom of the feet, which I might just do for this one, just to show it. So it's coming along nicely. What I'm going to do next is, oh yeah, the base. I painted a green color, just so the, you know, the white underneath it won't come through as much. So I used, that's the wrong one, the old Gretchen green. So I make sure to check the link below, so you can have a look at Daka Daka for the pink and versions. Um, just get a nice green base on it. Um, and as you can see, you can see like the texture of the base on the ring, so that's why you have to keep layering on the Nurgle's Rot. So what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to, once this is all dry and set and properly, I'm going to paint the stone, I'm going to get the 
shield and the crypt gold finish and I'll show an update after that because once that's all done uh, you can start putting the nurgles rod on because it's you know if you a little bit just gets on the crypt gold guy it's fine because it's really transparent as well that's all you have to layer it on so like a little bit on the edges of it it's fine it looks okay so I'm just going to do the base colors for that now okay so slowly but surely I'm getting it done um, the rock I did adapt this battle grey base colour with an agrax or shade wash over it um, the Nolan oil makes it too dark so just a brown wash will do on it and then I went with a dry brush over with codex grey just to make all the higher parts stick out and really give it that stone looking colour um, the crypt ghoul was it, yeah crypt ghoul was painted um, with it was based with narlock green and uh, then just a brown wash and then just you know a narlock green highlight over it with a little bit of um gretchen green and some of the highlight parts just to make his skin color just kind of stick out a little bit with what was that one ushapti bone for his for his uh nails and his mouth uh, the shield was pretty basic it was um I still have to get used to some of these new colours. Lead Belcher, based, then with a black wash over it, the null and oil. Um, and then just the higher silver parts, then just go over it with iron breakers to make them stick out a bit. So um, I put one base or one layer of the Nurgle's Rot on it. So as you can see, it really needs a lot more to make it stick out a bit more. So I'm going to start layering that on now. So on the next kind of segment, then it'll be finished. I'll have the guy glue it on and everything, and we get a final look at it. So stay tuned. So finally got the base all finished. As you can see, I glued the guy back on. Um, didn't have to pin him rending. He went in pretty okay. Uh, the base took about I want to say four layers of the Nurgle's rod just to make it look a little bit thickish, but it came out okay. Um, you know, I'm happy how it came out, especially with this guy. You know, I was a bit unsure about his foot gluing on, but um. You know he balances pretty well. Um, I'm happy how it turned out. Um, I think when you put like a few of them together, I zoom out. You know it really makes it'll make like a unit. Really feel like they're going across a swamp base. Um, yeah. So that's it. So let me know what you guys think about it. Leave a comment below. Hit the like button. Um, I think it's a pretty cool way to get the models to stand out. Just apart from you know like the normal sand base and everything. A uh, bit of flock and everything. No, I think just trying to do a little bit extra it makes it look so much better. Um, and stay tuned because I think maybe the next day or two after this there'll be a video going where I'll be finishing up the whole unit. So make sure to keep an eye out for that. I'll be painting the whole unit, you know, on the same way, the same bases and everything, just to match it. So it will look pretty nice um, in the end. So um, thanks for watching. Hopefully it helped you guys. Um, you know, I thought it was a pretty cool idea to do a swamp base. Um, I think for the next one, next few I'll do, I'll have to add a little bit more details into it. It does look a bit bare in some parts. But, um, you know, it's still a pretty cool idea. So thanks for watching. Make sure to hit the like button and comment and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys next video.